Hi guys, my name is Matthew, and uh, my channel name is The Hey Boys. Today I'm going to show you a Twister tutorial. Um, basically, this is obviously one of the key uh, effects that people use in montages. Uh, this tutorial is going to be an After Effects because I think it is the best for Twixter. Although there's a Sony Vegas uh, plugin recently come out for Twixter, it's nowhere near as good as After Effects. After Effects is a lot better for Twixter and um, effects in general. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do um, is, well, once obviously once you've imported your clip, is click this here. This enables frame blending. So what frame blending is? It's when um, obviously there's a in between frames uh, there's a gap uh, in the video so if you watch if you watch the uh, the player now if I go a frame forwards did you see that gap so if we go backwards again there's a gap isn't there uh, of where the script moves from here to sort of up here um, so what frame blending does is basically sort of adds motion in in between to make it look like a one continuous smooth motion so I'm going to click that enables frame landing okay so once you've done that you want to click on the clip on the clip you're going to want to put Twixter on right click go up to frame blending and click pixel motion so that just enables the frame landing on that clip okay um, so now you're ready to add your Twixter Twixter Pro 4.5 um, and this is another key, uh, another key part to uh, making sure your twist is smooth. Uh, is making sure that this here, this input frame, is on what your um, the frame rate of your clip. So mine's 59.94 frames per second. So I'm going to change this to 59.94 per center. Okay, I'm just going to change this to a quarter quickly. Because my computer, um, I'm actually working on my laptop and it isn't exactly built for After Effects, but yeah. Um, okay, so next thing you want to you're going to do is go down to here, to his main BG layer settings, and change this B main BG sensitivity to 60. Carry on going down and do the same with these three. So 60. I played around with this for a bit and. Um, these are the best settings, so 60 again. Oh, come on. 60 again. Okay, so now you've got that done. You're going to find your point in your clip where you are, where you want to start the Twixter, so I'm going to do it here. Uh, the best places to do it are during like scope ins, when they're scoping in, or when they're scoping out. So yeah. So you click this drop down here, go down to effects, click Twixter Pro 4.5, go down to output control, <coughs> and you'll see here uh, the speed is at the moment 100. So what you do is you keyframe that, okay? So that means that everything before this point is at 100, so just normal speed. Go forward a frame, and then set this to whatever you want yours to. Um, whatever speed you want it to be now, so anything from about 5 to 10 is probably um, is probably good for this depending on whether you want it really slow or you know slightly quicker so I'm going to do 6 for the purpose of this tutorial so there you go so now everything from here onwards is 6 and then you're going to find the point where you want to stop the Twixter um, but you want to make sure that the uh, the actual scope doesn't get too close to the uh, the lens if you see what I mean so about there that's about the limit you want it to to actually get to that's probably a little bit too near so you want it to be yeah I mean somewhere like that's good so I'm gonna keyframe this six again so everything between here is a uh, six speed and then you want to click the next frame button and change this back to 100. So then everything after that is just normal speed again. Um, okay. But now what you'll notice is because you've changed the uh, because you've changed the the speed of some of the clip. Basically, this clip was 
uh, six seconds long, but it isn't anymore. Well, it's a bit longer than that, but uh, I'm just going to change this to ten seconds. Oh, come on, right, sixteen seconds then. Yeah. Uh, so what you'll notice now is that your clip, some parts of your, cl basically, um, the timing of your clip will be out of it. So it, so to to re to regain your full clip, you go to time, enable timer mapping. And I need to make this a little bigger, bigger again. So I'll go to. I'll tell you, what, I'll just make this a minute sixteen. Okay, so I'll zoom out. So you'll see here, if I go to here, uh, and all you want to do now, you'll see here, this is this is not, this is near the end of my clip on the timeline, but it's not actually near the end of the clip in real time. So you want to double click on the edge of this and just drag this out. And basically what that will do is uh, give you the rest of the clip that you'd be cutting out with using your twixter over here. Um, so, I hope you've all learned something from this tutorial. Uh, remember, uh, just for a summary, click this, click this enable frame frame blending button here. You can either right click on your clip, go up to frame blending, and go across to pixel motion, or you can double click in this box here. So that does the same thing. Um, I'm going to render this out now, and I'll put it at the end of the video. <coughs> uh, if you enjoyed this tutorial, leave a comment in the in the um, leave a comment below with what you'd like to see next. And if you enjoyed this, please head over to my channel. It's the Hey Boys. The link should be in the description. And um, I'm I'm gonna do be doing a um, color correction pack um, release tomorrow, which is Tuesday the 24th. So yeah, so subscribe and. I'll be getting that out to you tomorrow. So uh, I'll render this out now and I'll see you guys hopefully over at my channel. So uh, thanks for watching.